This is the large super we transferred the bees into. Seems to be pretty active here. Bees are coming and going out of the entrance down there on the front of it. A lot of them flying around in the air. Looks like a pretty busy hive. This turned out to be a whole lot easier than we thought it was going to be. This super is one of the deep supers. It's about, I think they measure nine and five eighths in height. About 20 inches deep and 17 inches or so wide. It contains 10 frames inside that the bees can build their cone on. This has some cone, old cone already build up in the frames in there so it made a real good situation for the bees. They had cone already started that they could start building on. It's got some fresh frames in there with some foundation attached to the frame so that gives them a base to start drawing their cone on. But this is really a busy little hive. Funny part about it though, I'm going to move over here where we transferred this hive from, where we had the small trap box. And that's back over here by where that suburban is parked there. Some of the overflow of the bees got down on the top and as you can see right here there's a congregation of them. They haven't figured out where they want to go yet. When we put the trap out I brought out some water in a jug here and I took the gallon of water and added about a half a cup of sugar into that. Shook it up and dissolved it in the water and boy, I put a piece of cloth over into it so it wicks the water up out of it, up into the cloth, and the bees are just absolutely loving that. But there's a lot of bees active right here still. But I took the, I didn't, we, my grandson and I took the trap box over here, about a hundred feet away, and set it up over here on the stand over here. And this is the trap box that we put out and started the bees on. You can see it's pretty active over here too. It looks like it's building up another colony of bees over here. They're pretty active but they're not caked on it like they were before. We turn around, we put a couple of fresh new frames in there with the foundation on it, but we got a couple of old frames in there with old cone on it, so they got something to work with there. Looks like we might be able to start getting another box of bees built up. That look, there's three holes there on the upper part. Those are just vent holes. They have screen on the inside of them so the bees can't come and go there but they try to get into the hive through there but there's one hole down lower and that's the entrance into the hive and they're just a crawling in and out of that hole to be bad whole good goodness there
A lot of people say, oh, I don't want to get close to those bees. Well, the bees are making honey and working in the hive. They don't pay any attention to anything else. They send out a few scout bees and they have a few guard bees. If you don't attack the hive, the guard bees don't bother you. But the honey bees that are working on the hive itself are too busy working on the hive to be bothered with anything. You can go right in there and stick your hand in it and they won't bother you. But they're being pretty active on that hive again. This is just a half a hive. It's got five frames in it where the regular hive has ten frames. But they have different size hives. Some five, some eight frames, some ten frames. But when we broke down this box yesterday, the inside was so chucked full of bees that you, the rest of them couldn't get in there. So it was just caked on the outside. There was... You can see that landing strip down at the bottom. That's about an inch and a half wide. And the bees were built out, hanging out away from the box. It was out farther than what that is. So there had to be at least an inch and a half to two inches of bees clinging to the face of this. And then they were down halfway on each side of the box. I'm standing about 30 inches away from the box right now. Bees are not paying any attention to me whatsoever. Well, that's enough for now. Just a little update on what our bees are doing here. It looks like they're doing real well. We'll catch you later. Thanks for viewing.